Welcome back. It's time for a rave review. Okay, up first, guess what, guys? Our favorite quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, is in a new sports docu-series on Netflix. It's out today. I got my screener ahead of time. I was loving it. It also stars Kirk Cousins and Marcus Mariota. Did I say that right, Jake? Mariota? Thank you. Mariota. Uh, this follows three quarterbacks during the 2022 football season. It's a look behind the scenes like I've never seen before because I've never really been interested in sports shows before. But since I love Patrick Mahomes, I love the Chiefs, so great to see behind the scenes and kind of what they're going through during the regular season. We see the awesome plays. We get to hear what they're actually saying. Take a look at the trailer. Let's go upstairs now and read, okay? Why does the NFL have so many rules against hitting quarterbacks? A quarterback throwing a pass is wide open for dangerous hits. An injury to the quarterback can sink a team's entire season. I'm gonna take you out here. No, I'm good. This is about as close as they'll ever get to seeing what it's like to be a quarterback in this league. I dedicate my life to football. All day, all day. It's really nice to get him away from football and spend time with our family. Oh my gosh, he made it the first try. How many did y'all make? I can do that one. I'm here all day, I'm here all day, I'm here all day. Mahomes is in trouble, scrambling to his right. I said, wait, gets off the hip, and now fires it late. Caught. I'm like that. I'm sorry, that gives me goosebumps watching that because I remember seeing those plays, like, you know. Uh, here at the station are awesome sports anchors uh, covering those, and now you get to hear what they were saying. It's really good. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I watched it for Patrick Mahomes, and I wanted more of Patrick and Brittany and their children. Um, I may have fast-forwarded a little bit during the other quarterbacks, not to say they're not amazing, because they are, and they're awesome people and great families, but I just really loved seeing Patrick and Brittany and behind the scenes and building their house and having a baby, and I loved it. All eight episodes are out right now on Netflix, check it out. I mean, what a great, when you look back though, what a great season to do this show and how fortunate are we that they covered Patrick Mahomes and then they won you know, the big game. So, I mean, nothing but bragging rights for our KC Chiefs kingdom out there. So I'm saying it's really good. I have a, lot of, I have a feeling a lot of people out there will be watching this one uh, starting today, so check that out. Okay, on to another documentary that I didn't know I would like or didn't need, but I did need it. It's about the iconic 80s duo Wham! Now this documentary follows the rise of George Michael and Andrew Widgley as global superstars and what led to their breakup at the end and then shows George Michael's meteoric rise to fame as a solo artist. Now I'll admit I didn't know much about Wham! This did teach me a lot and it's actually told from George and Andrew themselves, their voiceovers. Uh, George must have done before he passed away some kind of recording or documentary type thing because George is talking on it over the, the exclusive video that I didn't even know existed and it's really great to see them behind the scenes as younger struggling artists like at 17, 18, 19. It's amazing. Uh, take a look at the trailer. We met when I was 11 and Andrew was 12. And there was only ever one thing that I wanted to do. You get so you get so be in a band with George. Andrew changed my life in exactly the way someone needed to change my life if I was going to be a pop star. And that was it. Wham! You're so gorgeous. I know. Next thing you know... With Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go... Wham Mania had arrived. It's Wham! Wake me up before you go-go The success was so much more than I had ever dreamed of. And with your best mate... It was just absolutely magical. Okay, quick story. You need to watch this because it's great. But quick story. Did you know that Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go was actually because, I, can't, I think it was Andrew who left a note on his door for his dad that said, Wake me me up before you go. And was it George? It was, it was uh, Andrew to George saying, Wake me up up before you go. 
Yes, that's, I'm sorry, yes, there was two ups, and he said to make it funny, he would go, go. Thank you, Maddie, I'm a, I apologize. Okay. I did watch it on a plane, so I apologize. Yeah, I've just watched it. Yes, so anyway, he added the go-go at the end because he put up, up, or Mimi, or whatever it was. Anyway, it's really cute. I now need a part two, because guess what? It ended with Wham breaking up, and it didn't go on to George Michael's solo career. So now I need part two, which shows George Michael through the rest of his solo career, and then to the end of his life, unfortunately, tragically, to end, too soon at 53. Really, really cute guys, and if I now I feel more educated because I did not know about Wham. I just really knew more about George Michael. Great, you got to check this out. Okay, and finally on this one, uh, you know I love a good design show. There's a new one on Netflix that tries to help families organize their space, but with great design and elegance, and try to take their space and elevate it. Even though you have kids, you have toys everywhere. It's called Hack My Home. Four great designers. Take a look at this. The world is changing. Families are spending more time at home and they're running out of space. It's non-functioning multifunction right now, but it needs to be functional, functional multifunctional. multifunctional. Yeah. There is no pantry, no storage space. A living room is no longer just a living room. It's an office or a bedroom or a classroom and families are struggling to make it work. So all four of you all live together like Little House on the Prairie? Yes. <laughs> you need some help. That's where we come in. We are reinventing spaces in ways that people would never imagine. You had this real! <laughs> I take scribbled down ideas and turn them into a concrete plan. I use physics and robotics to create functional magic. I love to think outside the box. Creativity is my superpower. You can dream it and then build it, but I make it look good. Together, we reinvent the way you live. This is Hack My Home. Here's why I like this show, is because I, you know how I love like secret doors and hidden doors that lead to other rooms? They do like secret rooms within rooms because they do a lot of stuff that's mobile. So for instance, you walk into a room and you think, this is a great toy space with like a built-in media center. Well, guess what? The whole media center wall will move and behind it is dad's office. And I'm like, I like hidden rooms within rooms because they're trying to make small spaces work for different types of families. So you need the kid's space during the day, then guess what, kids go to bed, the whole wall moves and then you have an office. It's kind of crazy. I like their ingenuity, their engineering of making spaces work for the families. There's eight episodes and they are all out now on Netflix and it's just fun, it give, might give you some ideas. Okay, and okay, finally, I'm not gonna show you a trailer just because I didn't want to, but there's a show now starring Sonia Morgan and the Wendella Seps of the Real Housewives of New York called Welcome to Crappie Lake. I'm saying crappie because isn't that the fish, the crappie fish? Am I, am I wrong in saying that? Okay, no. Well, it's called Welcome to Crappie Lake. It's in Benton, Illinois. They took these, it's kind of like the simple life Remember that in the old days with Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie? They're going from their high fashion elite lives in New York City to Benton, Illinois to help this town uh, from the pandemic. I guess it got hurt really bad like a lot of towns did. One of the producers of The Real Housewives of New York is from this town. So he pitched the show and said, hey, can we bring these stars in to maybe let's do a show? Let's help with advertising for the town, show our lake, show how to catch catfish in one of the episodes. Luanne Deliceps actually goes down, and we talked about this on the show, you know where you catch the fish with your hand and they bite you? Noodling, thank you, Jake. And we didn't even think that was legal, but anyway, Luann catches one. Here's the thing, I like the show because there's no drama. People aren't yelling at each other. It's not the typical like housewives where they're having fights. It's helping a small town. Is it way overproduced? Yep. Should it be scripted? Probably because they're just, it's just the personalities of Luann and Sonia, and that's why people will watch. But I love it because there's no drama, and it's just them being their crazy selves. So you can check this out. It's, it's fun. There's two episodes of Aired. They're only 30 minutes long. But again, if it's helping out a small town, I approve this message because it's helping out small town America, and the people of the town are actually amazing. All right, don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozarks Fox AM right after this.